Welcome to Twitter Tuesday. My name is Dean Meadows with The Daily Apologist, and today we're going to break down another atheist tweet for your benefit. And so today's tweet is an objection to the fine-tuning argument for the existence of God. And so if you're not familiar with that argument, the philosophical argument is laid out in the following way. Premise one, the fine-tuning of the universe is either due to chance, necessity, or design. Premise two, the fine-tuning of the universe is not due to chance or necessity. Therefore, the fine-tuning of the universe is due to design. Now, in response, as an objection to that argument, uh, Daniela Rance tweets, If there's a design, who designed the designer? Right? And that's followed with a question mark. Now, this is a common uh, atheist objection to the fine-tuning argument. And really, before we get into the objection, something that should be mentioned is that even if this objection is true, all it shows is that the design argument is not a good argument to justify the existence of God. You could still build a case for the existence of God off of like the Kalam argument, the ontological argument, the moral argument, the argument from contingency, or the historicity of the resurrection. Now, with that set aside, let's go ahead and actually look at Daniela's objection. Now, the fatal flaw with Daniela's objection is that it assumes that you must explain the explanation. In other words, you must have an explanation of the explanation. And so one of the ways in which we can uh, attack this objection is through a thought experiment, uh, one that revolves around archaeology. Say you were an archaeologist and you were digging through the dirt and the mud and the muck of the earth and you came across the arrowheads there that are on the table or this ancient club-like uh, thing that's leaning up against the rock. You would be completely justified in inferring that these artifacts are not the um, chance result or chance product of naturalistic processes like sedimentation and metamorphosis, but the products of some unknown group of people, even though you had no explanation for who these people were, uh, where they came from, what they ate, what they looked like, or what language that uh, they spoke. And so in the same way, uh, to recognize that design is the best explanation for the fine-tuning of the universe, you don't need to explain the designer. And this is flawed in at least uh, one, well, at least one major way, is that in order to say or to recognize that an explanation is the best, you don't have to have an explanation of the explanation. Think about what that would do to science. Someone comes along and says, hey, uh, I figured out this problem. Here's the explanation of why this is going, why and how this is taking place. Someone objects and says, well, in order for me to believe that explanation, you need to have an explanation for the explanation. Well, then someone else objects, well, in order to have an explanation for the explanation, I need an explanation of the explanation of the explanation. Then I need an explanation of the explanation of the explanation of the explanation. So it creates this infinite regress to the point where nothing can be explained and science is ultimately uh, done away with and undercut because all explanations need an explanation. So while Daniela's objection is popular on social media, once we dig down deep into the uh, philosophy uh, underneath that explanation, we see that it is patently false uh, and relatively weak in undercutting the fine-tuning argument. And so that is Twitter Tuesday. I'm Dean Meadows with The Daily Apologist. Like us, follow us, share us on your social media platforms. If you're interested in donating to The Daily Apologist, go ahead to www dot the daily apologist dot com slash donate and remember equip yourself to engage culture.